With the rise of open source electronics platforms like the Arduino came the rise of DIY MIDI controllers. All you need is some buttons and or some kind of variable resistors plus a microcontroller such as the aforementioned Arduino. Then you just connect them up and program the microcontroller to send whatever MIDI message you want when a button is pressed or resistance is changed. Now I have this cheap old keyboard that I got from a charity shop that sounds terrible. So I'm going to cut out all of its electronics to access the keyboard matrix so that I can wire it into an Arduino and program it to send out MIDI messages when the keys are pressed rather than triggering the crappy built-in sounds of the keyboard. That way I can plug it into a computer and play virtually any sound I want through a door or digital audio workstation. To do this, as well as the Arduino, we just need a shift register to expand the amount of digital inputs we have to the Arduino, some resistors and some diodes essentially to stop the current flowing weirdly when certain combinations of keys are pressed. I'm not going to stop there though, I mean the possibilities of DIY controllers are endless, so I'm going to add in a joystick that can be mapped to any parameter I want, like pitch bend or modulation, plus a bunch of piezos to make some drum pad style triggers along the top of the keyboard. Now to get the MIDI messages to a computer we can just use the USB coming from the Arduino, but I want it to be capable of sending messages to any MIDI enabled device like this Corgi MX. So I'm going to add in a MIDI port too so that I can connect them with a MIDI cable. With that said, let's get started with the build. Now before we fix it all together it's a good idea to test the Arduino code and circuit on a breadboard so I'll do that now. And as you can see, I've connected it up to the popular door Ableton and it works fine. So now we can solder the electronics, stick it all together with some hot glue and staples, and give it a slightly dodgy spray paint. And now, using the MIDI port, I can connect my MIDI controller to the Corgi MX and play stuff. to my laptop as shown before and do stuff like this.